Here we go. This is for our double overtime Sapphire baseball box break. I have 32 names. I'm just going to double check. Now that I'm saying I don't trust Sam, I just I like to double you know, check my work. Uh, let's randomize the list. Good luck, everyone. This is for filling up 32 breaks, 32 packs that we sold out. So all of you guys are going to get a card. Wait, did you call, are you breaking this? No, I'm setting it up for Mike. Oh, okay. Because uh, Matt... Yeah, he's got a couple of rebounds that took care of. Okay. So check it out on, on the bigger one. Okay. I believe in Montana. Okay. Thanks. Uh, my first attorney... What happened? What? what you was I say? Oh, I was going to say, Matt, Matthew uh, feels betrayed. Which Matthew? Matthew P. Matthew P. Matt P. J5, I feel like you betrayed me. You said you weren't breaking the sapphire. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not breaking the sapphire. I'm just setting it up for Mike. So five times, and then I'll pause the video, the local recording, and then when Mike comes on, I'll st he'll start it. Don't hurt us, I remind him. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you, I'm breaking the union contract right now. Union rules states I can only be here till 6 o'clock, but here I am. Five times. One. Two, three. Those are breakers in here. Four. <laughs> you you didn't know? Why did I not get my invitation? You didn't get the memo. Well, first you have to be a breaker, Sam. I broke. I break the weeks you're not here, so I'm I'm a part time breaker. Sure. Like you're a part time vegan. I get that. Makes sense. I'll put here double overtime sapphire break. All right, email that up. Um, there's my list. Ian, you look at the first card and go downwards. Uh, all right, let me pause the video here until Mike gets back. I'm in gonna, duty? I'm going to unpause it right now. You're in duty? You have the other uh, box for Ian? Right there. Okay. All right, Mike is going to take over. In Later, duty. guys. It's been fun breaking with you guys. We'll be, I'll be on tomorrow. In duty? Yeah. Who do you get? No, what's that? That looks good. No. Oh. Are those boxes? Oh, yeah, we purchased that at uh, the Shiner Show. In duty? In very much in duty. Dude, I got these gloves in, brand new. I, I, I don't like them. I already wore them, but my hands itchy. They're itchy? Yeah, my hands like actually almost swelled up after wearing them. It was weird. It's Tell a latex. They're latex. To. Are you allergic to this? Sometimes. Depends. That's okay. I can deal with it. It's only on for a couple seconds. This is black latex. I know that is. Powder free. Thanks, John. Come on, bro. I thought they were green latex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Latex? All right, guys. So what's up, Tom? Stephen G. What's up, Charles? Corey? Sean? James? What's up, Ian? We got some. Uh, we got some goodies. Some goodies going on. I bought a box of goodies. So are we? Are we? No, Joel, we don't... So, rule of thumb, when we... If we have set breaks, they never break the same night we sell them out. Just so you know, moving forward, Joel, we always wait at least one show, because there's some prep involved in that. You know what I'm saying? Johnny Five has to do some work. Sam's got to put in some work. Otherwise, we would just let him know. That's right. So, first, let me get... Let me open up the uh, double overtime sapphire break. What does that mean? You're recording, so you can... Can you, can you take your phone, please? Deets. What does this mean now? Double overtime? That's, it's a it's the name of the close-up special. Oh. Hey, have a nice day, will you? I'll try. You stop bugging me. What's up, Mitch? Oh, Ian, I brought a lot of stuff, man. Just got to sit tight through this break. I want to start getting some basketball. I want to get some basketball closed out. Yeah, I heard about that. That's awesome. You should send Sam out there. Hey, Sam, you here all night, bro? Nice. What's up, Matt? Isaiah, what's up, man? I didn't even I didn't say hello. How you, look at you with your button-down sweater looking like studious and whatnot. You got a what? So you have to wear a button-down shirt for a test? Okay, good. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Answer. Is that serious? Yeah. You serious? Is what that what you, you do? 
Was it like a, Good, that's great. Like an oral test? No, it was written. Oh. Wow, I mean, that's impressive, dude. You're serious about your academics, huh? That's what happens when you don't study. Oh, oh yeah. you should have said that. <laughs> I need a little boost. <laughs> uh, what, what was the test on? Um, human evolution. Okay, interesting. You know, my father is an anthropologist. Oh, yeah, Ian Wallace, there you go, man. Worked with some of the most famous anthropologists ever in the history of mankind. When he was a college, when he was you know teaching at college, it was interesting that I used to like you know interact with these people. I didn't know who they were. They were just some weirdos. All right, spot two. Up high, down low. Joe, we got some great basketball on the on vintagebreaks.com. Here's our first hit. Usually, it's not the first pack. Ten of twenty-five. Daniel Murphy. I forgot he was on the Rockies. Yeah, there's nine different people over there. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I want to... Hey, Corey, just go to VintageBreaks.com. That's our website. You can see all the breaks we have live, what we have there right now. Of course, uh, this sold out. I think this was a promo, but, uh, you know, things sell out as we go, depending on the type of break it is. We try and break them the same day. Can't always promise. The North Pole, that's exactly right. Nora, is, I don't know. I don't I don't think so, Joel. But he did work, and I don't remember the names of some of the of the guys he used to work with. They came in and out, but he um, worked with a lot, of, uh, a lot of them. It was interesting to see him put together an entire skeleton. Bone by bone, by heart. Crazy, my father. Get up, Molina and Marcel. Celebrate. I don't. I don't know, man. Can you? Can somebody help, Corey? Justin Bohr. Joe, man, it's cool. It's anthropology is interesting to me. When I was a kid, when I used to have like bring your father to work day, he'd come in and he'd put the skeleton together. It was really cool. Corey, it's all good, man. Brandon Morrow. So, did you think you got a good grade or what? Hopefully. Hopefully. Right. Brandon Morrow. Here's Shane Bieber. I don't recall ever getting a good grade on a test in college, to be quite honest. Somehow I still graduated. It was, it was always fun to just wing it. Actually, intro to poetry, I crushed it. Dude, I killed intro to poetry. Dude, I was so good at poetry in college. I remember my first girlfriend in college, I met her at a party, and I wrote poetry in the school newspaper, and she says, you're that guy? Dude. Was it? No, were you really rapping? No, dude, this was real stuff. Roses are red, violets are blue. Johnny got a haircut. He smells like poo poo. Stuff like that. I mean, I wrote it. That was off the top of the dome, kid. That's good visionary. I don't know anything about haiku. I don't even know what you're talking about. Seven four seven. Here's Taylor Ward. Yeah, I just, I just had fun, dude. It was great. Oh, such a long time ago. Tom O'Connor, you got the auto. Corey, me too. Don't worry about it. Sometimes I never learn. Ask my wife. Pick up your laundry. Don't you know that in order to get along with me, you need to like put your laundry in the laundry room? Maybe I don't want to get along with you, so I just leave it all around everywhere. That's what I do on purpose. Joel, that's, that's terrible, bro. That's great. That's Dave, C. That's for you. Nah. I have no marriage advice. I remember my intro to poetry teacher was this little lady. She used to wear, like, a black dress. It was, no, it wasn't a dress. She, it was like a cloak. We used to call her Drapes. Looked like Drapes. Addison Russell. Drapes. 
the rapper? That's Drake. And Johnny Five knows all about Drake. That's for you, Damien, 13. Oh, I'm saying, happens. My the, the intro poetry teacher, I think I showed up like over, th I guess, one semester. Maybe I showed up six times and I got a B. It's great. Literally six times. Like it was it, eight, nine in the morning. I was like, I'm not going. And somehow I got a B. This is spot 15, Framber Valdez for Tom O'Connor. Joe, you know what's interesting? So my wife has a oh, had a personal trainer at the gym, at Gold's Gym, mm -hmm. and he was blind, or he is blind. And the guy actually lives across the street in a condo complex and crosses the street. It's a main road. It, it's, imp it's, it's unbelievable. It's really cool. He'll know when you're there. The fact he can train you is even it's unbelievable. Oh, James, that's terrible. Here's spot 17. What we got here? Franklin Barreto. This is turning out to be a pretty crappy box. President Seamus in the house. What's up, Prez? Franklin Barreto. Yeah, so I mean, like, I, I definitely did the old uh, two time, uh, six time intro to poetry. You know, the most famous story I have was the, uh, the astronomy, and I call it astronomy because it was terrible senior year now i had two senior years so it was my third semester senior year 19 that picture it sicily you remember at uh, golden girls mm -hmm. steven this i'm telling a great story so just in time it was my it was the it was 1997 uh, 96 it was actually wasn't my second it was my first yeah because may 96 so the yankees win the world series right they hadn't won a world series it's 1978. I said, I have to watch the World Series parade because I may never see the Yankees win another World Series again. And I'll kick myself in a tuchus if I don't watch it. So I skipped my astronomy midterm. Right? Just skipped it. Didn't go. Failed. Only class in the history of academics for me I ever failed. And I saved it for the last semester of my, actually the third senior semester of my final year of college. And what happens? The Yankees win three more World Series in the next four years. Unbelievable. And astronomy, I heard, was like the easiest class ever. Here's a nice card, Austin Riley. All you have to do is look at stars in the sky. It, it didn't interest me. But I failed astronomy. And then I ended up taking biology, which was torture. Absolutely. Did you ever take biology? It's torture. I don't remember what I... I passed it, because otherwise I wouldn't have graduated college. Oh, we got one D, and that was in uh, geometry. I got an F in astronomy, because I watched the Yankees World Series parade. And then I had to take biology. Well, that's a good reason. Sure. But, it was, but I thought I'd never see it again. They won three more after in the next four years. That was really dumb of me. Sean, you're right. Planets don't change. People do. That's all. Well, Pluto's not there anymore, right? Oh, well, Pluto. It's still there. It's just not a planet anymore. Here's a Jacoby Ellsbury. Speaking of uh, things that never change, this guy is always hurt. James, last that'd be great. If you could lasso the moon for me, man, that'd be fantastic. I just, uh, I, I, I would, I would pay to see that. Brian Shaw. Pluto disagrees. <laughs> J5, Pluto disagrees, according to James G. I like it. 22, it's for Dana P. You know, Matt, I thought about that. Um, and unfortunately, um, I didn't. Uranus is very important. It's probably the best planet. Everybody knows Uranus. Right, Sam? That's for Ian. There you go, man. Eduardo Nunez, former Yankee. Here's Orlando Arcia. This is these boxes have not been kind to us uh, the last couple. It's because Johnny Five has been picking them out. Got to have somebody who's not a mush pick them out. I, oh, maybe we got another hit here. Let's see. There should be another one. I feel like there'll be another one. I think we got both that we're supposed to get. Sometimes I've been seeing three. 
No. Ray Black. You know, I, I feel like I should... I, I tell my daughter, she's 14, I give her all this advice about academics and everything. You should, like, pay attention in school. She's like, Dad, you didn't. That's uh, Topps Chrome, Matt. Topps Chrome update. You know, I want to take her uh, to where I went to school. I want to take her there so she can see what it was like and why I didn't pay so much attention. It was too much fun. Mark, that's for you. Jordan Hicks. Also from Mark. Big party school records or no? Um, I think so. Do you think so? Come on, man. Nobody's watching. I play video games. I like it. That might, you don't go out, you play video games? Yeah, I just play. What do you play? Like Madden? No, I play um, Smash Bros. I don't know any of that. Oh, yeah. That's like oh my God. And FIFA. Like, oh, like soccer? Yeah. We used to play Madden. Oh, my God. I'm dating myself. Like Madden 93. Madden 94. We played NHL 94. 94 was a good year. I remember that one. Wait, no, I remember NBA the Jam. We used to play. Dude, I used to go to. We used to go to the arcade and play NBA Jam. It was so much fun. Oh, another hit. Oh, it's a purple. Let's see, we got Nico Goodrum here. Wade LeBlanc. Oh, that's gross. But it's still purple. I miss those days. NBA Jam was amazing. If you were Shaq and Penny, it was over. Sean Kemp was insane on uh, on uh, NBA Jam. Nine of ten, Wade LeBlanc. I remember when Sean Kemp got arrested; like it was terrible. Like right on the Billboard in Times Square, Sean Kemp like uh, arrested for uh, for cocaine. It was terrible. He was such a good player. Then he got fat, out of shape, and started using drugs, and that was the end of Sean Kemp. Looks like, the, who, uh, didn't John Collins just get suspended? Yeah, he did. I wonder if he, I mean, it's, it's, this has never happened before. Two two players in the same year, NBA, for drugs. I wonder if it's if, if it's PEDs or marijuana. No, it's PEDs. Is it? Yeah. It's crazy. It's people putting themselves now. I mean, you don't need big muscles to play in the NBA. You just need to be able to run up and down the court. All right, John, you have to hit a jump shot first. Okay, let's go right now, right now. 